in this video i will be going to talk about card and multi row card card will give you a single value whereas the multi row card will give you multiple values in different rows we use cards a lot while making dashboards because you can show overall sales overall profit overall total product sold so those kind of things we can show in numbers using cards or multi row cards so i show you in power bi desktop so this is card i click on the card here and here you see i can take sales amount in the field section so this is the total sales of all times is shown to me then i can take another card so i click here and again double click on the card and what i do is i take total product cost here then i again click here and again i double click on the card and here i take order quantity so this is total order quantity this is total product cost and uh, i can take one more card where i can show the profit so let's say i take uh, one more card and here i can take the profit so this is the total profit which i can see so here i can change the settings if i click on this and i go to the format your visual there is a call out value so if i click it here and uh, display unit is auto right now so if you make it none so you see it will be going to give me a full number which i don't want to see so auto is better or if you want to show in in thousands so it will show this value in thousands but million is fine so either keep million or keep auto so that's fine here if you want to change the color to something else you can change these colors for this call out value make it bolder if you want otherwise default things it's fine so i reset to default i don't want to do any changes here so that's fine then we have category label so this is a label which you can see if you do not want to show the label just hide it but if you want to increase its size like let's say i just want to increase the size a bit and make it bolder so that you can do i don't want to make it bolder i just want to change its color let's say i want to change its color to red so i go to more colors and i will keep the color red so for the red you see the hexadecimal code is ff0000 or 25500 so this is the red color which i have done it seems to me fine i hit okay so here now what i will be going to do i select this i will click on format paint and put the same format here then i again do the format paint paste it here then i select this again put the format paint paste it here so you see all of them have got the same format so this is the card which is just displaying you the single value and uh, after that you see you can take uh, this multi row card so you see i click here outside and uh, i will take this multi row card i keep it here i drag and drop the fields i will drag and drop sales amount so here total sales amount is visible here i will drag and drop uh, total product cost so total product cost is visible here then i will be going to drag and drop uh, order quantity and i will be going to drag and drop profit so you see here now everything is in the single card so if i apply the setting so the setting will be applied to all of them i don't need to apply the setting individually on each and every card okay so this is the advantage here like i put uh, all the fields in a single card now and uh, what i will be going to do i will click on format by visual and uh, here you see i have call out values so i just increase its size i will make it bolder and you see the category label i just uh, also increase its size and make it uh, bolder so like this i can show the multiple values uh, here in a single card so this kind of thing you can do also in multi row cards you can display the data in the form of multiple rows you see right now i have taken profit sales amount total product cost order quantity these are returning me a single number if i take any kind of category like country 
country there are five six countries here like uh, usa uk france germany australia so there are many different countries so it will return a lot of value so that values will be displayed in the form of rows so if i again click on this uh, multi row card here and uh, this time i will be going to drag and drop the field uh, let's say country so here you see it is showing me the data in multiple rows like because i have so many rows let's say i put uh, sales amount here so it is showing me the sales amount uh, here and uh, based on individual country so i have displayed like that so if i click on australia so now it is showing me the details of australia if i click on canada it is showing me the details of canada if i show france these are the details of france and so on click again on germany i get all the things back so it is overall sales but you can click and show so you see if you put slicers and all so all these visuals are connected so you can slice the data for example if i click on germany all these values are showing the germany details if i click on united states it is showing me the united state detail so similarly if you take any bar chart and click on a particular bar or any column of a chart so based on the selected column these values will be going to change so this is card and multi row card which you have in power bi